Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. Today, iOS 16 just been released and the official version is out and you can now go ahead and download it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download it in two different ways and also give you some uh, tips if you're having issues downloading iOS 16. Now, iOS 16, it's gonna be compatible on iPhone 8 and above. Unfortunately, any older devices are not gonna be compatible with iOS 16. So if you wanna download iOS 16 on your iPhone, the best way to do it, it's connecting it to a Wi-Fi source. And then of course, make sure you wanna connect it to a power if your charge is less than 50%. So once you do that, go to settings. And once you go into settings, you'll notice here under general software update, you will see the option to upgrade to iOS 16. You can choose to even stay on iOS 15.7, which also was released if you want to be safe until other updates of iOS 16 comes out. But if you want to go ahead and download the late, the official 16 version, just simply click on that and you'll hit that uh, download and install and it will start processing uh, the download and install. So that's how you can do it now. The other way that we want to do, just to show you this, this will need about three gigs. So I would say roughly like four gigs space available. So if your phone doesn't have space, you'll need to make space. So that's important, which we show you in other videos. So the other way, if you're not seeing iOS 16 comes up yet, because it's just been announced and uh, the official version just been released, not every device yet will see it right away because it takes time. So sometime within today, at least in the US, you'll see it come up available on your device. There's different timing for different zones. So you might have to wait as well. So the other thing you wanna do if you're not seeing the update, you can check is connecting your iPhone. Here we have iPhone 13 Pro into your computer with iTunes or MacBook with Finder. So you're gonna connect that to connect it with the power and just hook it up with your phone. And once you hook it up on your phone, you'll need to trust the computer. And what we'll do here with the thing is that we're gonna be looking to open up Finder, which will have, so once you have your Finder opened up or iTunes opened up on your Mac, book or PC, you're simply gonna wanna locate iPhone and it should come up. And you'll notice here there's other options as well. As we mentioned, if you're not getting the update through the way on the iPhone through the air, this is the other way to do it. You'll check for update here. And then as you can see right now, it's saying it's the current version because it's just been released, but you'll wait till the update either appears here or through your iPhone, which is gonna be the first where you're gonna see the update up here. And then either way will work. Again, a couple things about the update itself. It is gonna take about close to four gigs. So make sure you have space available. You can check that by going into settings and then general, and then you're gonna do iPhone storage. And you'll notice here, make sure the update here, you have available space. As you can see here, we have about this much space left. So basically we can do the upgrade. The other thing you want to make sure is if you're doing the upgrade before even updating your phone, back up your device because this is a major jump from 15 to 16, generally a good thing to back up your device. So if you're connected to your, again, your computer, you can use this backup option right here to back up if you're doing a local backup here on the computer or you can also use iCloud backup. So go to settings and then you'll do iCloud, and then you'll notice here there's a backup, iCloud backup, you'll have probably this turned on, and then you'll click this backup now option, and it will backup your device on iCloud if you have enough storage. So those are gonna be two things you wanna do, backup your device before you upgrade to iOS 16, and the other thing, of course, if you're having still issues not seeing it, again, gonna be going and doing a forced restart of the phone. So here we'll take it off. We'll do a forced restart on the iPhone 13. So iPhone 8 and above, restarts are gonna happen is you're gonna press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold this side button. And you'll hold it and you won't do anything like, you won't do anything until the screen goes completely black and then we'll let go of the phone. So we'll wait, goes black, wait for the Apple logo to appear. And then once it appears, we let go and now it's doing a forced restart and hopefully the update shows up. Again, like I said, 
the update just released now so the time of the recording of the video so it might take time for either to show up through the iPhone software update or through your iTunes as well so you're gonna have to be patient when it does come up you're gonna have to keep on trying and throughout the day you'll probably see it finally come up because not everyone gets the update at the same time because they want to make sure that the servers aren't locked up when everybody requests the update but it is available for you to go ahead and upgrade to iOS 16 hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time